Hey friends, it's me, Bella, and uh, this is the Speedballs that you're watching right now. And I built this apartment and there's somebody here with me who would like to talk to me about it. Uh, it's me. Uh, I am sure you're surprised. And uh, also, I think we've decided that this is going to be a sleepy podcast. Right. We're going to try one more time to be calm and collected. And let each other finish each other's sentences. Uh, shut up. I'm still talking. I'm still talking. Okay, shut up. Uh, and uh, have a great time just watching these people together. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, tell me, what have you got for us today? Um, well, uh, I'm still doing the patron poll bills from March. So this There is, is a bunny. One. I saw a bunny. Sorry. I, okay. <laughs> this is going to be very difficult for me. Uh, <laughs> you are easily excited. Yes. And also, uh, I, I hardly focus like ever. So this is going to be a tough one for me to pull off. But I'll try my best. Go to sleep. Um, so this is the second bill from that poll. Um, it is the infamous three-story apartment in San Myshuno. <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I thought I'd add some sound effects. <laughs> Less post work. <laughs> um, and uh, I opted for an apartment version where I did not need to um, swap out those windows using the tool mod for once. So you can just get this from the gallery as long as you have the required custom content um, and I haven't said this in quite some time I think there's always a CC list in the download post and also tray files um, sorry about these popping sounds I will try to enunciate more clearly I guess and not not use so many words starting with <laughs> Great. Thank you so much for that. Um, so I'm, I'm guessing this is... I, I, I'm not guessing. This is more of a modern build. Uh, that is definitely true. I've um, chosen concrete floors, concrete walls, and then some furniture. <laughs> wow, that's usually how it goes, isn't it? Uh, I'm impressed. Uh, I, I was looking for a word to describe... Um, that style without going contemporary or modern or whatever. Um, I was thinking of, of dainty for a second because I've I've picked some dainty looking objects, I'd say, um, to create some contrast with the more heavy um, concrete. But then I've also paired them with even more concrete items like this bed, for example. I, I love this bedroom, by the way. Um, but this bed is definitely, it looks clunky in the best of ways, if you ask me. Um, I want to chime in here. Uh, I just want to say I read your comments because last time I asked about whether you would have to um, be well read to be a writer. Uh, and a lot of people chimed in and I appreciate that. And um, uh, from what I could distill, I think the, the public consensus was that you do need to read a lot or to have read something at least to be a writer, a good writer. Um, and I just uh, I just want you to know that I, I read that stuff and I find it very interesting. Cool opinions you got there. So would you say you've learned something? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I think I'm, I'm, I think this is yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think you can call this a subjective question, really. Um, but uh, there were definitely some interesting opinions and people actually thought about thought about the topic and I thought that was cool. Um, although I have to say, I don't necessarily think that being a good writer is just like a combination of, of the ways you've seen other people write. I don't think that's entirely what it is. I think... Um, like if you're actually like a, a, a novelty or a, a novel good writer, I think there's something new maybe that you can also bring to the table and that might just very much be your own. Uh, but I definitely agree with y'all that uh, you need to read to be a good writer. So, yeah. Sounding very Southern there. Sorry. Sometimes it just comes through. Yeah, my, my absolute uh, thick Southern blood coming right through. 
Um, sure. Um, I really like apartments. Have I said this before? Yeah, I feel like last time we talked about like my favorite place to live. And uh, I think I said that I like apartments. Uh, so I'm saying it again. Uh, I think, do you, do you feel building apartments poses an extra challenge or is it the same for you as building a house? It's definitely something different. I'm always surprised by how influenced I am by the exterior, like wh whatever I see through the windows. Um, and it's, it's limiting in a way, I think, um, especially with this being a three-story apartment. There's just certain things um, that I thought about trying, um, which... I knew didn't work out just because there's so much space and it feel weird to have certain smaller rooms and certain styles in here, at least to me. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but it's also lots of fun and it's not something you can recreate with your own lot, in my opinion, with that horrendous four story limit that right. we have <laughs> yeah absolutely um so i really enjoyed this and i love that there's the this kind of apartment in samashinu where it's just those big floor to ceiling glass windows i love those yeah i feel like it's also very much a different vibe when you have like an apartment that is you know in the like what 10th story maybe um that's very cool like looking out over the city uh, is a very different vibe from like having a house obviously um and um but i think it comes through uh in the in the furnishing as well thank you um personally if i had to pick one type of apartment or one apartment where i had to live for the rest of my life or whatever um then i'd pick a historical apartment um so you you don't you mean not like a contemporary Yes, I mean, I furnish it with modern furniture. Ah, uh, okay, just, I gotcha. I mean, I really love a good modern apartment. Like this one, That that's still, I, I think that's beautiful. And like, if I could live here, hell yeah. So also the open floor plan? You're like open floor plan apartments? That's your thing? Um, I wouldn't say that's my thing. I like them as much as the next girl, but... Do you, would you prefer a big one-story apartment or a two-story apartment? There's something about stairs. Yeah. Yeah, they're annoying, huh? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I got you. I think having two stories kind of just, it livens the place up for some reason. I don't know why. It's just so cool. It's so, it feels so unique. It's such a luxurious thing for Especially me personally. Especially in an apartment, right? It's Especially different for a house. in an apartment. I think it's still very cool in a house. Maybe that's because I've never lived in a house and I've never really known anyone who's lived in a house. Right. Um, so that's still something special to me. But yeah, in an apartment, it's just so cool. There, There's yep. just something about it. Especially with an open floor plan, I feel. Because yeah, like you're going to be upstairs in your own apartment, looking down at still your own apartment, which is something that I just can't compute in my head. That is so cool. Yeah, um, talking of stairs, this is one of those builds where I really considered using other CC for one reason and one reason only. Um, there is now Spiral Staircase custom content. And ah, uh, I would have loved that so much. That's so good. I really wish, like if I had one wish for something Felix and Harry would do this year. It's spiral staircase content. Okay, okay, I get that. I feel like oh, and it's it's functional. I, I think there there's been um, star spiral staircases for quite some time, but um, Ravashin has made this mod that makes them functional. So that's gonna be so much work, for sure. I I don't understand how these things work. Uh, that's super cool. The 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 work that people do on this kind of stuff. I think that's really impressive. Because um, I feel like, honestly, imagine if like The Sims just had its packs and wasn't didn't have any custom content or, or didn't have the ability for mods or custom content. Um, I feel like it breathes a lot of life into the game, um, and I'm I'm guessing that the devs are also very happy about this. So that's pretty cool. 
Yeah. Um, so you have a lot of sinks in this apartment. I don't know why I'm noticing this. I feel like this <laughs> is like the fourth sink that you've placed. I think there's a an appropriate amount of sinks for the amount of rooms that require sinks. Well, okay, what's the formula? One per one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, it's one one correlation. Uh, or I guess one to two per one. Um, okay, so your formula is uh, is horseshit. You, I, I never said I had a formula. Oh, okay. Uh, I wish you did, but now that you don't, uh, I also respect that. Well, I would say the formula is don't put more than two sinks per room. What if it's like a, an industrial kitchen? I would still go by that same formula. It's just that's my personal opinion. Obviously, if you like some more sinks, go for it by all means. Um, I do want to say that I really like how American sinks sometimes they have the garbage disposal. I think that's a, a luxury feature that is worth having. I'm not sure it's good to have it, but I'm saying it's very convenient and I love it. Hmm. What? Well, say what I've never say. particularly liked that. Really? But yeah. Why? It's so convenient. Um, something about it feels unnatural to me. <laughs> I get that. Like, just it's just, it just doesn't feel right. You know, I'm not supposed to put trash in the sink. That's not where it belongs. Well, because that, that's how we've been raised. But if you, seeing that it, you can, and it just gets rid of it, that's awesome. I I, I also feel it, it feels wrong to me. Because that's also not where that kind of trash goes. But uh, I've got to say, um, I, there is an appeal to it. Also, the fact that I just want to stick my hand in all the time and press the button just to see if how it feels for like a quick second. Is that normal? Also, is that, how, don't you have to clean those annoyingly often probably because that stuff's going to rot, right? Uh, I have no idea. I have no idea. I've never cleaned one myself, so I wouldn't know. I've just used them and I'm saying that's a great, that's a great experience. Cleaning them probably isn't, uh, but it's like that with a lot of things, so. Well, maybe there is an American in the comments who can tell us about that. I feel like I've been learning a lot from the comments. Yeah, yeah, because uh, there's a hive mind. There's a lot to learn from the hive mind. Uh, I'm using that word totally incorrectly, am I not? I, I think you might be. Um, okay. <laughs> well, I'm just saying that y'all have interesting things to say and we like reading them. So put them in the comments. Whatever it is, uh, you know us. We will accept random topics because um, I like learning random things. That my whole, that's so weird because I feel like my whole um, like base of knowledge that I have in my head is kind of accumulated through like random facts that I read sometimes. And most of it, I don't even know if it's true. Have I've you just, ever fact-checked something? Um, yeah. Yeah, like sometimes when, I, when I'm cooking something, I will like fact-check the measurements. No, I don't. No, that's a lie. I've seen you cook. Don't lie to me. <laughs> okay, come on. <laughs> you don't gotta call me out like that. <laughs> um, yeah, no. I take things at face value. That's, that's not true, I don't. I'm not stupid. Just a little bit. I don't think that's true. Well, I don't think. So point in case. <laughs> <laughs> um, before I forget, I'd like to talk to you about internet safety. And this is not a VPN sponsored segment. Oh man, I thought you were going to give me the whole sponsor. Okay. Right? Okay. That would have been so cool. Do you think I should maybe just start doing that? And then start at some point they start paying pay. me? Oh yeah. Uh, no, I don't think you should start doing that. I think that's a horrible idea. One of the worst ones you had. <laughs> so you want to talk to me about internet safety. And I've had some pretty bad ideas. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, um, because it's come out that some CC creators um, who make exclusive or early access content have shared private um, information from their patrons who they suspected of leaking said content. Now, obviously, that is horrible and so wrong. Um, just in case you hadn't heard of the situation, I will leave some info in the description. And most importantly, I will link a post that tells you how you can protect your data. It's very basic information. It's not like you need software or anything. It's mostly 
advice that's all around great to follow everywhere on the internet like don't use your name don't post selfies don't use your official email address very restrictive what about my selfies where am i gonna put my selfies <laughs> come on man um so yeah but um i i I, I have personally hadn't heard of any of the creators who are suspected of doing it before. I think they're mostly alpha CC creators. Um, but yeah, if that's something that might apply to you, I encourage you to maybe check that out. Um, but yeah. Yeah, and uh, by the way, we're not endorsing any kind of... Uh, I also don't think it's right to just leak their, their content. I don't think that's a good thing to do. Oh, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, if that, if that wasn't clear to you. Um, we're not endorsing that kind of behavior, but uh, sharing personal information is uh, illegal, by the way, and rightfully so. So go <laughs> yourself if you're one of them. <laughs> yourself, you <laughs> yourself. You really enjoy making me bleep things. Yeah, uh, I like the bleeping sound. I think it's funny. I think it's inherently funny. Uh, so that's what you're gonna do. Yeah, and whoever went to sleep during this voiceover, probably just woke up because of you. Because if you're bleeping, if you didn't bleep it, they'd probably still be sleeping. Oh, that if was a If you're bleeping, they'd probably still be sleeping. Nope, nope. Shut it, okay. Uh, <laughs> you probably should be bleeping that as well, <laughs> gee. Um, yeah, so protect yourself, be safe out there. Because um, I feel like with the internet, like usually with your safety, these are usually things you can get back, but on the internet, what? Once your information is out there, it's out. It's out there, right? It's there's. It's kind of definitive uh, in that sense. So, um, yeah, just be sure to take measures because there are people out there who are gonna share information they're not supposed to. Don't get doxxed, friends. Don't don't get doxxed. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good sentiment. Um, all right, but back to the apartment at hand, because I think it's really taking shape now. Was that a sauna? Oh, hell yes, it was. Uh, okay. That... And yes, that is an indoor swimming pool. Okay, I feel like this is less and less of an apartment and more of a just whole residential area just that just happens to be within an apartment building, um, which I think is really cool. Thank you. Uh, I mean, filling three stories of apartments is kind of a, you know, it's a, it's a task. Yeah. No, I gotcha. It's, it is something to do. Uh, <laughs> yes, it is something to do. And uh, living there also is something to do as well, which uh, I would gladly do, mind you. So if y'all uh, have any free apartments to give away, three story, um, maybe with an indoor swimming pool and a sauna, just hit me up, man. You, uh, I'd appreciate it. You all are the so gracious. Yeah, right. Uh, well, I think people have apartments to spare. I think that's that's the housing situation that we find ourselves in. <laughs> people just have three three story apartments to share. Come on, if you're sharing user data, you can share three story apartments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, what are you gonna build next? Well, it is nearing the end of April, and I still haven't done the April patron poll. Um, uh, so I think they are going to be able to decide on that. And now that I have this two-week posting schedule, um, that vote is even more powerful. Right. Uh, I think that's a very cool concept, by the way. I like the whole voting thing on Patreon. I think that's a cool idea to utilize a Patreon. Because a lot of times... People ha just have a patron, but they don't. It's it's just there, like for support. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I think it'd be super. It's super cool to support a creator that you like. Um, but I think it's also really cool to take that platform and utilize it in some way. And I think that's a good way. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. I think about things sometimes. <laughs> really, <laughs> this is a cool bathroom. I uh, thank you. I. I um, discovered this by accident that I really like this look with uh, the pipe being visible and like, going through the window. Yeah, I could just tell that you were itching to talk about the bathroom, so I just I thought I'd bring it up. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed doing that. I figure. Um, so we're nearing the end, and I'm just going to go ahead and, and get up and walk away, so bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> bye.